Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this session, I'm going to talk about the one new package, Avatar, and let me show you when this package is very useful for us. This package provide shape, style, color, font, format, everything customizable. User initials. It's called user initial. When you have one table and you want to display initial when user profile does not exist and that time if we create this initial manually through CSS and HTML and some functions it's hard and take more time but this package provide very good way very easy way and just in one line so you can use this package for the user initials and any other place where you need this kind of user interface and this kind of initials for any other thing I have one table let me show you I have one user table and I want to show this users initials in this column so I going to install this package in my Laravel applications I'm using Laravel 10 so go with this command but if you want to use lower than 5.2 you need to install this version and you should fire this command but let me go with this open terminal close this server and fire composer require Laravel author and it start installing and yes it's installed successfully let's check next step we need to register service provider and facade but it's only required if you use laravel 5.4 and below version but after 5.4 it's optional and also publish config is optional but let me fire and show you what happened when this command is fire it's created one config file inside the config directory so let me open and show you and you can see here all the configurations given here it's by default used by that package driver you can change if you want to use any another driver like imagic we have one imagic tutorial you can watch it you can find link into the video description and other all configurations here you can specify shape circle or square if you want to use globally square in your whole application you can specify square here and by default width is 100 pixel you can put whatever you decide your global width of the initials a global height of the initials and font size uppercase if you want to show initials with uppercase font you can do it also this package support RTL right to left so if you want to show this initials in RTL way you just need to make it true by default it's false also some color configurations given here foreground by default white background by default few hexa code given here you can put it based on your themes and whatever color you want to use as a background you can specify this package take randomly from this list for the background also border size radius color you can set it in this section and also some theme concept given here and all the colors specified here you can change it based on your requirements so this is configurations and use by this package and let's go to the next step this one is not required into the laravel if you are using this package in lumen you need to do like that and see uses 
section this package provide us to generate image into format base 64 and svg so first of all i want to go with the base 64 and copy this and let's open my table and add this and just need to change the name and let's again copy paste and paste and let's change the name so initial generate with this name instead of the default so let's save and first of all need to start server ps partition so and it started let's refresh and you can see initial generated but it's big than this columns and rows because its width and height is 100 specified into the config so we need to make it small so i going to specify 30 height 30 width and 22 was the font size and let's save and refresh font size is still big so i need to make it 14 and let's see what happened so now it looks like good and match with this ui now i going to make it true so let's see what happen upper case so this text character in upper case see ld jt and mo all are in upper case so you can easily configure it now i going to make it square instead of the circle so let's copy and put it here and just refresh and see now initial render with the square and let's undo this and refresh and see now again initial is circle and one more thing you can see this image render as base 64 but now i going to render with the svg output so let's open and remove this first of all and let's remove image tag and i going to render svg with this syntax by default if you want to render any html you should use this syntax instead of this so i going to now specify to svg and let's go and refresh and see now it's svg instead of the base 64 so both are different output as the html and also svg output clarity is good then base 64 you can compare both lt and jt so you can use both but i prefer svg because it's give good clarity and optimized also this package provide one another feature we can save this file into the our public directory and uh, we can show it from there so let's generate this file with this sample dot png save and let's again refresh and go to the public directory and see at l this initial generated and as a png format so you can store it like that 
and yeah also you can change font like that you just need to specify this font into the style and also configuration file given here you can configure it any config value or runtime you can do it like that dimensions means width and height because configuration set globally but it is possible you need different size of initial in other place some different background some different font size so you can do it easily through all these kind of functions so let me take example and show you with this set shape method and put it here save and let's go refresh and second one is square instead of the circle so you can do it any configuration change runtime so this package is very configurable and you can easily use it easily install it so thank you for watching a video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you